This is the Village Around Lake Beach Council meeting for November 15th, 2021 at 7.01 p.m. Uh, can we have a roll call, please? Trustee Husk? Here. Trustee Davis? Here. Trustee Valadez? Trustee Cleveland? Here. Trustee Ibarra? Trustee Stout? Here. Mayor Nichols? Here. All right, let the record show we do have a quorum present. And can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance yes, to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. Good evening all. We are uh, going to start with our approval of the agenda. Um, and tonight um, we are going to move uh, item N and O of our business to the top of the list um, to accommodate. Um, and uh, if I could, can I get our approval of the corrected agenda? Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and then our approval of the meeting minutes for October 18th, 2021. Any corrections or changes needed there? No. If not, can I have a motion, please? So moved. Okay. So moved by Trustee Cleveland, uh, second by Trustee Stout. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, the ayes have that as well. Um, we also on. Approval of a special meeting minutes for September 7th, 2021. Um, I didn't see anything that needed corrected. If no one else does, can I have a motion and a second for that as well? So moved. So moved by Trustee Stout, a second by Trustee Davis. All in favor? Aye. 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 I just have that as well. Um, expenditures tonight need an approval for three three million. Um, a, what are, where are we? Three million eleven thousand three hundred eighty-one dollars and eighteen cents. Uh, Susan Griffin. I guess I'm on. Yep. Um, yes, uh, exactly. Three million. Uh, big, a big uh, warrant or bill pay this this month, mostly due to the fact that we had a half million dollar bond payment uh, out the door. Some monies that needed to go get transferred. Property tax monies that we collected that go to the police pension fund. We had a couple of big payouts uh, for construction projects, the street program, Peter Baker, uh, Burger Excavating, <coughs> and then we paid for Lake County uh, Public Works for the sewer and surcharge, and um, then we always have the Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions if you have them on the report. We did have a time to review these in the Committee of the Whole, and uh, again after. If anyone have any questions or concerns? Hearing none, can we go ahead and get the uh, approval of the expenditures and then $3,011,381.18? So moved. Second. So, so moved by Trustee Davis, I mean, Trustee Cleveland, second by Trustee Husk. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I'm sorry, a roll call vote, please. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee, let's see, Valdez is in here. Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Moving on to ratifications, we have none tonight. Um, Committee of the Whole reports, I don't believe we have any either. Um, for the mayor's report, uh, item one, uh, the mayor's photo contest from um, July and August, and then the uh, awards were picked in September and October. Um, we have our third place, um, Matus um, Nalinzi, he's not here tonight. Um, I will take this to him. And in second place, Irma Majewski. Majewski. I want to thank you guys for coming up and come and see us tonight. I'll walk out here.
And our first place award, uh, Marshall Filia. Thank you very much. Yeah. Actually, the second place we don't have it. We didn't have it, have it uh, framed up yet because it was a print. This one was a uh, um, canvas style. But we thank you very much. Um, the second item, um, what's that? Yeah. The second item that we had for the mayor's business um, tonight, um, the intergovernmental personal benefit cooperative presentation, is not going to go tonight. Um, that'll be pushed more towards January now. Um, just so you know, because the rest of it is going to be a lot of boring business. You do not have to stay, and we greatly appreciate you coming in. Um, but thank you again for submitting. We'll give it just one minute so we can let them know that they can. As it will be boring, we'll let you know you don't have to stay, but we appreciate you coming in and seeing us. <laughs> thank, thank you for the submittal. Uh huh. No, no problem. Thank you. It looks great on the wall. Oops. Thank you, Chief. All right. So we'll move on to the clerk's report. Do we have anything tonight? No, we do not. Nothing from the clerk. So we will be moving on to business item. It would have been A, but I believe we're going to go on to um, item N. N and O, yep. So if you'd like. Hey, you can take the mask off at, the, yeah. at your discretion. <coughs> uh, your, your contract first. Okay. Uh, good evening. My name is Anthony Maselli with Spear Financial. Um, so item N is a contract for municipal advisory services. I have a... A brief presentation that I that I put up. I'll, I'll run through really quickly. You know, Susan's doing the slides. Uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me, Spear Financial. Uh, we are a uh, firm of municipal advisors. We're the most active municipal advisory uh, firm in the state of Illinois. Uh, so we work with uh, many neighboring communities. Susan, if you want to just go down a few slides, I won't bore you all. You can keep going. Yeah, there you go. So um, uh, we are a, a small firm uh, based here in Chicago, as well as an office in Waterloo, Iowa, 16 employees, uh, nine of which are, are registered municipal advisors, including myself. Um, and then if you want to go to the next slide. <laughs> um, so as mentioned, we do approximately 200 transactions a year. Um, and we are the most active advisor in the state of Illinois. I've got a list I know it's impossible to see of just a few other communities that we serve uh, in the area. Um, and then in terms of uh, rankings, if you go to the next slide, slide Susan. Um, again, uh, this is uh, the rankings for Illinois based on new money issues. Uh, and um, we are the number one municipal advisor held that ranking for, for 25 years. Yeah, over 25 years and excluding education. I like that the best because it, it shows how, <laughs> how much we do. But uh, new money issues, 82 last year. Thank you. Uh, it helps. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, sitting, I can't see. I'm trying to find it on my computer. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I don't have that, do I? So um, 
you know, I don't want to spend too much time just reading through the entire book here and wasting all of your time. But um, I'm going to go through tonight the, the financing options for the GO issue. So we just wanted to set the table with what my firm does and what we are. We're a municipal advisory firm. We do not buy or sell. I'm not a broker dealer. Um, I work as a fiduciary to municipalities throughout the state of Illinois for the issuance of bonds. Um, uh, the contract that I that I have in front of you is uh, our standard contract, um, and for the issuance that we'll be talking about later, which will be approximately ten million dollars, um, the standard fee formula that I put in would have equated to about a twenty-five thousand dollar fee. Uh, however, I've capped that at twenty thousand for for this issuance, uh, which is, um, as you look through the report, uh, five thousand dollars under the five million dollar deal you did in 2016. So just trying to be uh, aggressive and reasonable for this transaction. Perfect, thank you. Um, so on item N then, a resolution authorizing and approving an award of contract to Spear Financial um, and a not to exceed of 20,000, I believe you said. Um, can I have a motion and a second? Second. So moved by Trustee Cleveland, second by Trustee Stout. And can I have a roll call, please? Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. All right, the ayes have that. Item O, a motion to approve the proposed bond in the amount of up to 9.8 million, I believe. Um, and I'll let you go ahead and speak on that again. Sure. So. Uh, working with uh, Mark and Susan, um, we've discussed a, a number of bond scenarios which are in your packet. Uh, first and foremost, the 2010 recovery zone bonds um, are, are callable and can be refinanced for savings. We have two other issues that are also callable, but because of how short they are and the fact that they're going to be paid off relatively soon, there's not any savings from refinancing those. However, there is savings from refinancing the 2010 bonds. Um, Based on current rates, it was about $80,000 in savings or uh, just under 5% of refunded par. And that, those 2010 bonds were, were recovery zone bonds that were issued as taxable bonds. And you get a, a subsidy from the federal government uh, equal to 45% of the interest. Um, the savings that I'm mentioning is net of that subsidy. So it's, it's net net, even the fact that you're losing the subsidy, you're still saving money by refinancing those as tax exempt bonds. So, so that's approximately $1.4, $1.5 million of the 9.8. Um, the remaining amount is, is for capital. Um, and in your packet, I know Susan and Mark had laid out the, the capital items uh, that they were looking at financing. Um, the initial model um, that was prepared, uh, I think in 2016, showed you guys coming to the market every five years for about $5 million. Um, in order to accelerate some of that capital and take advantage of the low rates, uh, the, the thought was to go up to the what's called the bank qualification limit, which is uh, $10 million. So getting right up to that limit, getting you as much capital as you can while taking advantage of the bank qualified interest rates. Um, uh, the model that we have uh, shows how with doing this and then still staging in those later issues, you have a, a, an overall debt service pattern that's continuing still to de decrease. So you're not incurring any more payments down the road uh, while getting this cash in. Um, uh, the rate I had assumed in my model, and I, I'm sorry, you can't see the model, but the rate I had assumed in my model uh, for the new money bonds for a 20 year, approximately $10 million issue uh, was 2.8%, which, which in this market is conservative for a AA2 <coughs> rate of credit. You'd be probably closer to two to two and a quarter percent. Um, uh, so, you know, trying to get in the market soon, take advantage of rates before what they seem to be increasing, you know, day to day here, um, and, and, and taking advantage of those bank qualified uh, interest rates while taking the savings on the refunding. So that, that was the, the proposal um, and, and the third scenario that we, we had provided. But so we, we do have a savings then because of the interest rates at the time, but uh, does it have any, any impact on our rating at all by going up to the 10 million? No, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors that could take into account for a bond rating. Um, it's, you know, the amount of debt that you have is approximately 10% of your rating. Um, you're not in a situation where 
that amount of debt is going to materially impact your rate. I didn't think so. I did want to double check, though. <laughs> All right. So then on the motion to approve the proposed bond in the amount of up to $9.8 million, anyone else have any questions or concerns? I know we went over it a little bit in the committee of whole, and we appreciate you coming out tonight to give us the more information. Um, can we have a motion and a second, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Davis. Second. Second by Trustee Husk. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. Well, the ayes have that as well. All right. Thank you very much. We'll move on back to item, I believe it was A. All right, we will be, and thank you for coming. We'll, we'll, we'll let you slide out too, <laughs> so you don't have to sit through the rest of this. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Business item A, um, a resolution honoring school board members on school board members day. If we could um, get a motion. Uh, actually, we read it first, Scott. Yeah. So if we could go ahead and clerk, if you could read the. Yes. Resolution honoring school board members on school board members day. Whereas school board members are elected to sit in trust for their diverse communities and in that capacity are charged with meeting the community's expectations and aspirations for the public education of their children. And whereas School board members are entrusted with the guardianship and wise expenditure of scarce tax dollars, and they are responsible for maintaining and preserving the buildings, grounds, and other areas of the school district that the community has put in their trust. And whereas school board members are responsible providing leadership that ensures a clear shared vision of public education for their schools that sets high standards for the education of all students and requires the effective and efficient operation of their districts. And whereas school board members adopt pol public policy to give voice to that leadership and employ a superintendent to administer board policies and are also responsible for the regular monitoring of the district's performance and compliance with state policy. And whereas school board members selfless, selflessly volunteer countless, uh, countless hours to public service with no compensation. And whereas school districts have faced enormous challenges over the past two years, and the strong dedicated leadership provided by the Round Lake Area Schools Community Unit District 116, Board of High School District number 124, Board of Education, Grays Lake Community High School number 127, Number of Education, Board of Education and Grays Lake Community Consolidated School District, number 46, Board of Education have allowed student learning and success to continue. And whereas, employers are supportive of their employees who serve as school board members generous, generously leading support and time. Employers give their employees the opportunity to better serve the needs of the school districts and communities they represent through sometimes tremendous sacrifice to the employer. And whereas, decisions made by school board members directly impact the quality of life and safety in their communities, placing them as the front line of American democracy. Therefore, be it resolved by the village of Round Lake Beach that we proclaim November 15, 2021 as School Board Members Day as we honor those citizens who devote their time and energy for the successful education of our children and our future leaders. Thank you very much. Um, and I will then ask for a motion and a second for the resolution honoring the school board members on school board member day. So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second. Second by Trustee Stout. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Thank you very much. Um, item B, a, um, a resolution authorizing and approving an award of contract to Compass Minerals America Incorporated. Scott Hiltz. Yes, thank you, uh, Mayor and the Board. Um, actually, the next three items were all uh, discussed as one um, item at the committee meeting. Um,
Compass Minerals was the state bid for our rock salt for this um, winter season. And then um, <coughs> Morton was another vendor uh, for rock salt. And then the other one was our uh, beet heat, um, which is for our anti-icing. All right. So we, that, we do have item B, C, and D. Um, I, uh, the item B, resolution, the resolution authorizing the approval and award of contract to Compass Minerals America Incorporated. Can I have a motion, please? Moved. So moved by Trustee Husk. Second. Second by Trustee Davis. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call Aye. vote, please. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. All right. Business item C, we have discussed it. Um, the resolution authorizing and approving an award of contract to Morton Salt. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second by? Second. Second by Trustee Davis. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. All right. The ayes have that as well. Business item D, a resolution authorizing and approving an award of contract to KTEC Specialty Coatings. A motion, please. So moved. So moved by Trustee Stout. Second, Second. will take by Trustee Cleveland. And a roll call vote for this as well. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. All right, the ayes have that. Business item E, a resolution approving the intergovernmental agreement with Round Lake School District 116 for the purchase of rock salt. Scott? Yes, thank you again. Um, this item is a uh, renewal of a IGA that we've approved um, the last several years since 19 or 2017. Uh, this, is, this, however, is a three-year uh, IGA um, since it's worked out that they we purchased salt um, in the amount of three to five hundred tons for the school district we store it and then um, they reimburse us um, for using the salt during the winter season it's a way way it saves us all a little time and a little money I, as well because we're buying more in bulk I guess correct we, we have access to the state and county um, bids all right. Thank you very much. Can we have a motion and a second for the approval of the intergovernmental agreement for a three-year deal for Round Lake School District 116, purchase the rock salt? So moved. so moved by Trustee Davis. Second. Second by Trustee Stout. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, moving along then. An ordinance approving the intergovernmental agreement for traffic signal maintenance with the state. Scott? Yes, again, this is a renewal of a actually 10-year intergovernmental agreement that just expired in 2000, or, yeah, 2021. Um, it is, um, these are traffic signals that are owned by the state of Illinois, but however, since it's in the boundaries of the village, we have to play, pay a portion of our fair share for maintenance and um, energy. All right, and this will be a 10-year, you said, Scott, again? Uh, that is correct, a 10-year right. agreement. That's what the last agreement was. An ordinance approving the intergovernmental agreement for traffic signal maintenance uh, for a 10-year IGA with the state. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second. Second by Trustee Husk. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Stout. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Moving on to business item G, a uh, roll call, uh, a resolution improving the Rebuild Illinois MF2 resolution, resolution for design engineering. Director Hiltz. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, this item is um, to authorize the Rebuild Illinois funds um, that were issued to the village earlier this year. Um, however, to use these funds for design engineering, we have to go through the MFT process, which is to approve a resolution um, for design engineering for the state of Illinois and um, the state will approve a contract with Gewalt and the village um, to be executed for the design engineering. All right. So I believe there's two, yes, I believe that are there two items. That's just one item is all I have on yep. the, 
I think the contract is part the of the proposal. resolution. Okay. Is that right, Scott? The contract is the city contract. And so it's got one, one action item. One action item. All yeah. right. So we have resolution approving the Rebuild Illinois MFT resolution for design engineering. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Stout. A second. Second. Second by Trustee Davis. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. All right. Business item H, moving on to Kate Fortillo. Uh, ordinance granting certain variances and departures for the property at 715 West Rolland Road. Thank you, Mayor Nichols and trustees. This is uh, the variances uh, requested by the petitioner for the property at 715 West Rollins. Um, the petitioner came before the um, board uh, at, at our October meeting and there were some requests made to um, shore up drainage plans and those were um, reviewed and approved by the village engineer and so therefore this is before you for vote. All right, thank you. We did discuss thank this you. in the committee of the whole as well for the property at 715 West Rollins Road. Uh, ordinance granting certain variances and departures. Can we have a motion, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Husk. Second. Second. Second by Trustee Davis. All in favor? Um, I'm sorry, a roll call vote, please. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. I uh, have that as well. Business item I, an ordinance granting a special use permit for the property at 250 West Rollins Road. Kate? Thank you again, Mayor and Trustees. This is um, a special use permit that went before the Planning and Zoning Commission earlier this month. Um, village ordinance requires that all drive throughs be authorized by special use permit. And um, it was, um, in, as it relates to the uh, CCRs for this parcel, the determination was made that this relates to private property and is not um, in the purview of the village. Um, the petitioner has uh, already provided <coughs> revised plans that um, bring that site into full compliance with ADA parking regulations, and it's before you um, for vote tonight. Perfect, thank you. Um, I know we did discuss this at also in the committee of the whole, so if we can, an ordinance granting a special use permit for the property at 250 West Rollins Road. May I have a motion, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. A second by? Second. Trustee Stout is as a second. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, item J, a resolution approving the fire department permit waiver fee for stations two and three here in Round Lake Beach. Um, Kate? Thank you again. Um, also discussed at Committee of the Whole, but um, the Greater Round Lake Fire Protection District um, <coughs> Going to, they're planning on um, some renovations to fire um, station two and three and have requested um, to have their permit fees um, waived for both projects. And so um, in the spirit of um, being a partner agency, um, this is before you um, for a vote uh, by resolution. Perfect, thank you. Again, there, there's, there's no additional outside cost um, to us for this. Um, so if we could, can we get the resolution approving the permit waiver fee for the fire department? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second? Second. Second by Trustee Davis. And a roll call vote, please. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. A business uh, motion, I have that as well. Uh, resolution approving an agreement with Dogwood Land, LLC. Uh, Mark Rooney. Thank you. Tonight, we're asking for approval of a contract with that LLC, which is a Mark Janik, who has, uh, his, as you see in his resume, he was an urban planner at <coughs> Syracuse Landscape Architect and then urban planner from uh, University of Wisconsin. So he comes to us with a great deal of experience in the public sector and in the private sector coming before boards and commissions to gain approvals for developments. 
So he will have all the duties that would normally be the employment of an economic development director and a community development director position as a full-time staff member, but under this contract we're approving for a total of 135, 120,000 and then 15,000 in his overhead costs, which saves us for a comparable position at that level of about $25,000 and other costs if he was our employee. And I'd like to thank Ansel Glink and Scott Puma for helping to draft this to include and enumerate all the duties and assignments he'll have. And it is necessary too because he once was an IMRF employee and we needed to do it in this form of this contract to be clear for the village as well as the <coughs> limited liability company. And we have other contractors that the village has used recently in lieu of hiring employees and we find this to be the best fit and the lower do lowest dollar amount for the quality we'll receive. Perfect. I know we have all discussed this as well. Uh, so I, can I get the resolution approving the agreement with Dogwood Land LLC? So moved by Trustee Davis. Second. Second by Trustee Husk. And a roll call, please. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Moving on to business item L, an ordinance approving changes to the structure of the police department. Uh, Trustee, uh, Chief uh, Rivera, do you want to speak on this? Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> we spoke about this at the Committee of the Whole. Basically, what we're asking is, um, currently, uh, uh, the ordinance required uh, limited us at 40 officers, sworn officers. We're in a unique position where we've been able to stay ahead of the hiring curve that has been uh, uh, plaguing the nation. So to continue to stay ahead of that, uh, we were requesting to move it to 42. We'll remain budgeted at 40, but when we have the opportunity to bring on, um, when we know we have departures imminent, this gives us the ability to get ahead of the, the, the hiring uh, process, especially with the limited access to academies that could push us back nine to 12 months uh, for vacancies. So we are requesting it be uh, raised to 42 so that we can um, fill the vacancies that we are expecting uh, this December and January. Um, but we're going to remain budgeted at 40. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, as we have discussed, we've talked about this in, already in the committee of the whole. So can we get an approving of the changes to the structure of the police department from 40 to 42 uh, officers? It will not affect the budget. So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second. Second by Trustee Stout. <coughs> and a roll call vote, please. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. The ayes have that as well. Uh, we'll move on to business item M. A motion to approve the estimated tax levy for tax year 2021 in the amount of $3,164,997. Um, this can go down, uh, but we do have to have this in by December. Um, and uh, it it can only go down it cannot go up so that's why we're approving it now for that total um, um susan do you want to discuss it i uh, made a few changes in the memo just to update on what had transpired at the committee of the whole uh, basically there was a consensus to go with um, option number three which is a 2.3 percent increase in the levy for uh, the total amount that the mayor cited, three million. I apologize. One sixty-four nine ninety-seven. Right. Thank you. Three million one sixty-four nine nine seven, which is a uh, sixty-nine thousand seven hundred fifty-four dollars more than last year, of which about forty thousand of that. Excuse me, thirty thousand of that it goes just for pensions. The remaining balance then will go to the other corporate levies. Uh, the impact to a home um, with a value of $150,000 is about $4 a year uh, for the uh, non-pension um, non portion of the levy, but the total impact, including the pension levies, is um, $7 on a $150,000 home. Thank you very much. Sure. Um, as we've discussed this at the Committee of Whole, 
Can I have a motion to approve the estimated tax levy for the year 2021 in the amount of three million one hundred sixty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars? So moved by Trustee Davis. Second. Second by Trustee Stout. Uh, roll call, please. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. All right. And, Mayor, and before we, we we will have an ordinance in December's meeting to approve this amount. If there's no questions in between. Correct. So we'll have the ordinance for what we just approved. Yes. Correct. All yes. Right. Thank you. Item N and O, we have already discussed. We've moved it up to the top of the list. So we'll be going on to item P. Uh, motion to approve the voluntary vaccination personnel policy. Mark? I, that heading describes the policy. It is all incentive based. There is no downside negative toward our employee group. If they come in currently with a vaccination card, showing that they've had the one-shot Johnson & Johnson or the two-shot regime of the uh, Moderna or Pfizer, they'll immediately be eligible for that $1,000 incentive. And, uh, and they have till January 16th, if they've not been vaccinated, to do so and, and receive the incentive. It also has a component that if they do have a breakthrough having been vaccinated, that we will not charge you know their time off and they'll be eligible for workers comp by the village point of view on that program so it is an all incentive no negativity to the vaccination policy so it is a incentive not a mandate all right can i have a motion to approve the voluntary vaccination personnel policy please so moved so moved by trustee cleveland second second, second by trustee stout and a roll call vote, please. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Item O, roll, uh, resolution authorizing and approving an award of contract to FMC, Vilas Media Consultant. And that, in that dollar amount of the $18,000 that we perceive that we'll need for the rest of this budget year. And then we'll have it in the budget going forward at some dollar amount to be determined in the future. And he's worked on the web page, both the, the village web page, working with Chief Rivera on the police and our Facebook presence. All right. Uh, can we get that re resolution authorizing and approving the award of contract to FMC? So moved by Trustee Davis. A second, please. Second. Trustee by Stout. Trustee Stout for a second. And a roll call vote again, please. Trustee Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. <clears throat> All right. The ayes have that as well. We have completed our items of business. Uh, we are now to the point of open public participation. Um, if we have anyone from the public like to stand up and speak, please come up, announce your name. It doesn't look like we're going to have one tonight. We do have executive session tonight for a probable pending litigation, land acquisition, sale of land, executive session, minutes, and personnel. So if I could, uh, roll call vote to go into executive session, please. Can I have a motion? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second. Second by Trustee Husk. All in favor? Roll call vote. Trustee <coughs> Husk? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. All right, the ayes have that. Executive session, we're going to be starting at about 740.